Hi guys, we're back and today we're going to do chicken and dumplings. We're going to do this entirely by scratch. It's wonderful to do during the holiday season. You can do this um, the night before Christmas. We're going to start out with three cups of water. And I say start out because I may add more than that. Okay. And I probably will. I <laughs> I probably will. We're going to go ahead and start out with five cups. I've got a fairly big pot here. So five cups of water. And I'm going to put an onion which I've cleaned and halved. Two cloves of garlic and a chopped green onion. We're going to strain this later, so. And then about a tablespoon of salt. Okay. And I have dried parsley, but I'm going to also add about a tablespoon of that. And my guess, let's see here, I would say a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to make a stock. We're going to use our chicken. We're going to cook our chicken in this. So about a quarter teaspoon. garlic powder. Alright. We're going to give that a stir. And we're going to bring that up to a boil. <laughs> I have a mishap going on in here. Okay, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add, let's see how much this is. I'm going to add chicken broth. I'll tell you how much when we come back. Okay, so um, I measured that out. It's about three and a half cups. And I, I, I had it in the freezer, so it's frozen. So I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to bring that up to a boil, and we we will come back when that is um, at that stage, and we will add our chicken. All right, guys, so I have this over medium heat, and just to kind of recap, this is our chicken broth. We're going to cook our chicken in here for our chicken and dumplings. We started out with five cups of water, three and a half cups of chicken broth. You can use any kind that you have. Um, and then I have a whole onion cut in half two cloves of garlic and two green onions okay a tablespoon of parsley and a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt and a tablespoon of salt all right so that's where we start we're gonna have an awesome wonderful chicken broth um, for our chicken and dumpling soup that is just gonna be mm, beyond compare so all right next we're going to add our chicken and this is where it's really up to you. I like chicken breast, and so I have boneless, skinless chicken breast here that we're going to cook and use for our dumplings, our chicken and dumplings. So um, we're just going to put those in there, and there's two. I'm going to clean those up after they cook. Two, three... I'm going to add five of these, and they're medium to small. Okay. I know, baby. Hold on. So get five going in there, and this is just a little bit that was hanging out. So we're going to have our chicken stock once we're done with this, and our chicken's going to be cooked. So this is going to be delicious. If you haven't done this by scratch before, um, I would suggest that you certainly try. It's really easy. And when you do 
of this by scratch, it's a lot healthier than the stuff that you get from the cans. So we're just going to bring that up to a boil and then we're going to reduce that to low and let it simmer. Um, the key to perfectly cooked chicken is a nice even temperature. So we're going to get that up to a boiling and then we'll be back. Okay, so it is still um, coming up to its first boil with our chicken in there. I went ahead and added two more cups of water so I wanted to bring you up to speed. Um, we're going to let that come up to a boil and then we're going to continue on. We're going to put the lid on it and then let it simmer. So we'll come back as soon as that boils. I just wanted to catch you guys up to speed. Alright guys, so we're back and it's at a boil and we're going to cover that up. We're going to reduce the heat to low and we're going to let that simmer for 25 minutes and then we're going to come back and check on it and then we're going to let it simmer a little longer. So we'll be back in 25 minutes. Okay guys, so we're back. It's 25 minutes later and you can see our onion is breaking apart and that's fine because we're just going to strain all that anyway. Um, you can see it's coming along really nicely. It's not there yet so we're going to cover this back up and um, we're going to come back when it's done and I'll let you guys know how long it took. Okay, so it simmered for about an hour and 10 minutes and you can see it just easily just pulls apart. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this off the heat. I'm going to take my chicken breast out and I'm going to let them cool a bit so that we can shred them up. And then um, I'll bring you back and we will strain the broth. Okay, so I have separated my broth and I've got that back in the pot on a low simmer. Okay. And I have shredded my chicken and there it is right there in the bowl. I'm going to refrigerate the chicken and we're going to start on the dumplings. Woo! We'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back and we're about to do our dumplings. And I have one cup of broth from my chicken earlier in this saucepan with six tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna bring that to a rapid boil. We're gonna add one cup of flour, one quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and one teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and we will be back. Guys, so as soon as that comes to a rolling boil, which it is, we're going to add in, again, one cup of flour straight in the pan, one quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And you're just going to put that in, and you're going to mix that around while it's on high. And we'll let that all get absorbed. And then we're going to turn it down to low. And we're going to stir this until it forms a ball. See how that's beginning to form a ball? This is past you. It's the same way we made the eclairs. But it's got different seasonings in it of course. Okay, so we're going to take that off the stove and we're going to place that into a bowl and we're going to let that cool down. And in the meantime you want to go ahead and pull out four eggs and let them come to room temperature. Um, and as soon as this cools we'll be back. Alright, so my dough is cooled enough and I'm going to add four eggs but I'm going to do this one at a time. And just like when we did the eclairs, it's going to be a lot easier to do this by hand with a wooden spoon. And we're going to mix it up until the egg is completely absorbed into the dough. And it's going to take a little bit of muscle, a little bit of work, but your dumplings are going to be delicious. Dough's gonna look terrible, but this is exactly how it's supposed to look. Now we're gonna add another egg. And then 
just keep going. I'm going to keep going with my additional two eggs and when I have all four of them worked in we'll come back guys so there it is it's a very sticky um, fairly smooth dough and we're just going to take that and put that into a ziploc bag and I have mine in a cup because it makes it a little bit easier to get in there Alright, so I'm going to finish getting this in my Ziploc baggie and we'll come back. So I have that in my Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to take my clean kitchen shears. And I'm just going to snip off probably about a half inch opening. We're going to see how that does. We're going to snip off just a touch more, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so um, I've cut the hole in the bag for my dumplings, and we've had this on a very low simmer. I'm going to crank it up just a little bit because I want to bring it up to a boil. <laughs> I'm going to add my chicken. I want to do this right before I do my dumplings, okay? And um, as soon as we get that done we and it comes up to a boil, we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're at a low boil. We don't want it rolling, we just want it um, at a low boil. We have our bag and our dough. We're going to take clean shears and we're going to squeeze out about inch pieces and just cut. Okay, and we'll do that last one. And you just want to use your remaining dough and you don't want to stir but you just want to let these um, just go as they are and we're going to cover this up put this on low and let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll come back all right guys so there is our beautiful chicken and dumplings we let those simmer for 10 minutes on low and we're going to serve those up and i'll show you what it looks like giving my little one a bite he can't wait all right guys so I dropped all the dumplings and I let it simmer on low for 10 to 15 minutes and then I plated it up and the only garnish I used was a couple cracks of ground pepper um, so I encourage you guys to definitely give this a try it's delicious it's wonderful and it's great on a cold night um, during holiday season. I really hope you enjoy it. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.